Well, hello everyone. My name is Eric and welcome to tonight's information session. That's what we call it from Neotech Academy. And um, I, I just, I asked you guys before we started recording, you know, what your dream job was. And, and, and I love the responses I was getting, you know, to have flexibility, you know, not to have to be in the office every day, you know, potentially making a six figure income freedom, you know, not to have to, you know, go into the office at all. Some of you said you wanted to go into the office sometimes, have a hybrid type role. So we're going to be talking about all of those things tonight. Okay. So here's what we're going to accomplish. I'm going to give you some background. We're going to give you some background because I have some uh, other folks that are going to be joining me tonight. So we're going to give you some background on who Neotech is. We're going to give you some information about the IT industry. And I don't mean to sound dramatic, but what really is a life-changing boot camp. And, and I think you'll see why I say that in just a little bit. Uh, we have some recent graduates who will be coming on a little bit later, and they're going to give you their insights, you know, what their experiences have been, and you'll be able to ask them questions. So we have complete transparency here. We're going to mention this date a few times, but guys, do me a favor. Grab a pen, write this down. Write down April 21st. April 21st. April 21st is the start date of our next boot camp, and that's designed to accelerate your learning. Uh, so we're going to go about an hour and 10 minutes tonight. All right. So here's what I need from you. I need something from you guys. Okay. Um, I need all of you to commit to spending the next hour, hour and 10 minutes with us so you can get all the information you need to make an educated choice as to whether a career in IT and being trained by Neotech Academy is, is for you. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to type in the word yes or the letter Y as your commitment to being here for our presentation tonight. Just give me a yes or a Y. You know, either I make it really easy for you. I mean, just, just typing in a Y. Come on, I, I know you guys can do that, right? All right, so good. I appreciate that. Thank you for that feedback. Thank you for that. Thank you for your commitment, I should say. So some of the fast, why consider a career in IT? Let's talk about that to start off with, okay? So some of the fastest growing occupations are in IT. I mean, think about it. For the next generation, everything is going to be tech related. There are jobs available in all major cities. But you know what? Like we were talking about earlier, remote is available as well. Uh, many of our students who became ultimately graduates and then started to get, then they got their career going, um, they received remote job offers. Uh, now, getting a remote job offer is not a guarantee. It depends on the individual company. I just want you to know that remote is still available. Um, there are actually more remote jobs available nowadays, today, than there has ever been in our history. Now, some of these companies, if you are required to go into an office in IT, a lot of the companies nowadays, you've probably seen these on TV you know, or videos, they offer some pretty cool work environments and some, and some, and some good benefits as well, other than just working from home. Many of them give you free lunches. Well, I guess uh, I guess X doesn't do that anymore, right? Twitter. I guess uh, Musk put a uh, <laughs> he put a stop to the free lunches, right? But a lot of these companies they offer gym memberships, generous vacation time, uh, of course, the higher compensation. We're going to talk about that higher compensation in just a few minutes. Four hundred one k's, bonuses, insurance. I, I would submit this to you. IT careers check all the boxes. Now, think about this for a second. During the height of COVID. When many parts of the world were essentially shut down, IT thrived. It really did because there were already a multitude of you know remote opportunities available. COVID only increased those opportunities. And I, and I would say this, and I hate to even, well, for lack of a better way of putting it, folks, the one silver lining when it comes to when it came to the pandemic to COVID is, oh, really? I think there were two. Number one. I think we can all agree that we learned that tomorrow's not guaranteed. I mean, can you guys agree with me on that? Tomorrow's not a guarantee, right? The other thing is, you got to have a plan B. You know, uh, we can't rely on our individual company, you know, our government, whatever. We, we really do have a plan. We really have to have a plan B. And for a lot of people, when it comes to IT, that plan B is now their plan A, you know, really for thousands of people around the world. Now, I want you to uh, know this as well. We have a lot of folks who are newer immigrants to the country, to the U.S., to Canada. Don't worry if your English is not perfect. That, that is completely irrelevant. Don't worry about what your background is. It doesn't matter if you, you know, worked in construction, if you were a, um, a teacher or a nurse. I'm noticing recently we're seeing an influx of teachers, nurses, 
you know, people looking to make a career change. By the way, I'm just curious, type into the chat if you would, what, what is your current uh, occupation? Like what field are you in right now? Type that in if you would, I'm gonna read a couple of those in just a few minutes. So it, it doesn't matter what your background is. I don't care if you park cars for a living, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what your education level is as well. A lot of people think, well, I have to have a four-year degree. No, you don't. Or you might say, well, I've got a four-year degree in something that has nothing to do with IT. That doesn't matter. What the employers care about is can you do the job? Can you do the job? And I'm just looking at some of the answers here. So Noel, hairstylist, Roberto, nurse. I told you, a lot of nurses. <laughs> Transportation. Um, IT talent acquisition, banking, financial exam, everything. I mean, we've got the whole gamut here, guys. Recruitment, property management, IT help desk. There you go, cosmetologist. So it doesn't matter, is, is my point, you know, what your background is. And I love seeing these, you know, different careers that you've taken in the past where you're looking to now possibly switch careers. And, you know, it, it can be, it can seem daunting for people at first, if they've been in a career for like 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, and all of a sudden they're like, I'm going to make a career change. But we're here to hold your hand. And we're going to talk about how that works in, in just a few minutes, okay? So what exactly is a software tester, okay? So let, let's talk about this for a second. You probably have heard this term before. You've probably seen ads for this. Some of you said in the chat there, you were looking to do something regarding uh, software testing which is one of the career paths that we train you for. Now, what exactly is a software tester? Well, this is a very rhetorical question, but I'll ask, I'll ask the question anyway. Guys, have you ever used Facebook? Have you ever used Instagram, Uber, TikTok, whatever, any of these applications? I know you have. <laughs> you don't have to respond to that. I know you have. Now, so if you've used any of these, you know what a good application that works is like. You use it and it functions. When you try to make a purchase on an app or post something, it works, right? So that's what you bring with you. You've used technology. And then we give you some technical knowledge and some hands-on expertise on top of that. You put it all together and you learn with our help how to do software testing. So a software tester's role, think about this. It's, guys, it's, it's, it's vitally important to a company because you are charged with making sure the software functions properly and, and there are no defects. So, I mean, think about it. If you're the company, if you, if you were Uber before they went public and people started using their app, what if every time people went to use the Uber app, it crashed? Or there were mistakes in the you know, spelling mistakes and things like that, or the color scheme wasn't correct. That's where you come in. Your job is to use it as though you're the end user, the customer, and to find any of these bugs, any of these defects. And don't worry, you'll be given a checklist of things to follow and things to look for. So does that make sense, by the way, what a software tester would be doing? You're looking for bugs. It's kind of like this, guys. Let's say you are a, um, an author and you send a book in to your editor. Well, the editor is going to look it over and make sure that there are no mistakes. That's what you're doing. You're kind of like an editor, if you think about it. It's your job to ultimately save the company all kinds of money and all kinds of time. And we all know about time and money, you know, having a relation, having a relationship there, right? So, um, and, and by the way, keep in mind, it's not your job to fix the problem. Isn't that great news? <laughs> so don't worry about that. We'll let the developers take care of all that. It's your job to simply find the problem, okay? So what we did was we created the boot camp which teaches people from scratch on how to become competent in and, and have a career in IT. And, and keep in mind, and I'll say this a couple of times because I think it's so important because I'll say it a couple of times and I'll still get this question later. Do I have to have a college degree? The answer is no. Many successful um, software testers, many people, many successful people in IT in general are not actually college graduates. That's not a requirement in many cases. Employers just want to know if you can do the job, which we train you to do. So we actually give you some hands-on experience working on actual projects. I mean, real projects. So, you know, imagine where you are right now, and then imagine where you'll be, you know, six, seven months from now after going through our boot camp. It's a six-month boot camp. It's, I mean, guys, you're going to learn more in six months than people will learn in the industry for years in a very short amount of time. But 
Uh, we do the training uh, through Zoom, which is great, just like you're doing right now. You can interact with your instructors. It, it's um, it's all in real time, super convenient. You can either watch it live or you can watch the replays. But but keep this in mind. We have a proven process. We have hundreds of graduates all across North America, um, and really, you know, we've had we've had some folks from other countries as well. Uh, we have a proven process which can enable you to become competent and proficient in the IT field. And we also offer, and I'll talk about this more later, a money back guarantee. So this entire process essentially becomes risk free for you. Okay. And then on top of all that, we provide you some actual career placement in potentially the uh, the job of your dreams. So, you know, after going through, you know, our program, you know, some career paths you might choose are software development engineering test or SDET, it's referred to as QA engineer, uh, software test or a quality analyst test lead. At this point though, you're probably looking at these and thinking to yourself, well, I have no idea what direction I'm gonna go. We understand that. As you start to go through the process, you'll, you'll just, you'll gravitate to certain fields based on what is, what, what, what you really find most attractive. You'll, you'll, you'll learn about all that. So Course Report has, in 2023, last year, they actually rated us as the best QA testing bootcamp. That, that's pretty awesome. Course Report is, of course, highly respected if you know anything about this industry. So this is a six-month accelerated course. It starts on April 21st. You get hands-on experience on real projects, like I was saying earlier. So then when you go to the job interview, and by the way, we help you out in getting... Uh, potentially, you know, getting landing that first job in IT, but you'll be able to say and show because they want to see this. They don't want to just see on the resume that you you say you can do this or that. You'll actually have hands-on experience. So now, when you go to that job interview, you can you can be confident in knowing that whatever it is they test me on that they ask me about, I'll be able to do it for them. I can demonstrate that I can do the job. So again, write this date down if you haven't done so, like I was saying a moment ago, April 21st, that's the start of our six month uh, accelerated course. Uh, and again, just imagine where you could be at some point in the future after taking our course. You know, the course starts April 21st, it goes six months. So you're looking at what? You're looking at October later this year, potentially starting that new life. So you're over here on the left side, software testing, uh, starting April 21st. And then you're gonna segue into software development engineering test, like I was saying a moment ago, maybe a career in QA, software testing, and notice the salary ranges, 80 to 130,000. And guys, you can confirm all this yourself. I mean, all you have to do, don't do it now, but when, we, when we're done, go to Indeed or someplace like that, indeed.com. Look for QA, quality assurance, or software tester, or SDET, S-D-E-T, in your local area, and you can see these, you can confirm these salary ranges for yourself. So no experience now, but you're going to get that experience. So you're gonna be exposed to a broad perspective of tools and languages throughout our program. Um, and so and so here's, here's how you wanna look at this. After starting your career as a software tester, because you will be exposed to all these different tools and languages, you can then use your new career as a software tester as a as a springboard into other career paths, such as, you know, um, like I said, software development engineer in test, uh, scrum master. That might sound like something involved with rugby. It's not. <laughs> if you know anything about agile and collaboration, which you can look up, project manager, ETL tester. And by the way, guys, you know, I kind of make light of that. Don't worry if you're looking at those classifications there and you're like, I have no idea what a uh, API tester is. I don't know what that's all about. You will learn all that. Think about it like this. How many of you guys took uh, calculus when you were in school? Probably quite a few of you did, right? How'd you feel the first day of calculus? I'll tell you how I felt, I felt lost. <laughs> I was like, why am I taking this? But by the second semester, how did you feel about the things that were taught on the first day of class? You probably got it down by then, right? Because you'd already done it a whole bunch of times. So it's the repetition, it's learning from scratch, it's learning in a hands-on environment exactly how to do all this, and that's what we teach you to do. And by the way, guys, we're going to go through the tuition here at the end and the money-back guarantee. I don't like to throw that out right at the beginning because it's kind of like shopping for a house based off the price only. I mean, it's like telling your real estate agent, hey, find me a house that costs $600,000. That's it. That's all I care about. 
Well, what about the square footage? What about the neighborhood? What about how many bedrooms and bathrooms there are? Those are important as well. How close is it to the school? What kind of school district is it if you have kids? So we have to go through some things to establish what we're doing first, the value, and then we'll go through the tuition, the money back guarantee, all that good stuff, okay? So what I wanna do now is introduce to you one of our founders, one of the founders of Neotech Academy and lead instructor, Elian. He's gonna tell you a little bit about himself and go into some more detail about our, about our boot camp, okay? Elon, you want to take it away? Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, Eric. So uh, thank you for the presentation so far. So I can start sharing uh, my screen. Okay, perfect. Let me share. And uh, so uh, my name is uh, Elion Limanai, and I've been a software developer for uh, 20 years right now. Uh, <clears throat> I'm, gonna, I'm also uh, one of the co-founders and uh, the lead instructor at Neotech Academy. So I'm going to talk a little bit a little bit about our uh, program, right? What we what you can what you learn, what do we offer to you, and then also uh, also information about the schedule and everything. Also, I'm going to invite a couple of uh, alumni students who have been with us, um, like like previously, and they can share their their uh, experience with uh, Neotech, and also you can have you can ask questions to to them. Okay, so. Uh, when we talk about uh, software testing, right? So we start teaching manual testing. So what is manual testing? Whatever Eric explained. So testing the software, making sure that everything is working fine and there is no bugs there in the software. And you're gonna learn how to do that one manually. So how to report it. So if there's a problem to report it. And then I saw a question earlier saying that, what if there is no problem? Are, are we going paid? Yes, still you're gonna get paid because you're trying to you're trying to break through the system and try to make sure that the customers that don't see the problems of the software but you catch them before before the update is done. So after you learn manual testing, you're gonna go learn about coding. So even with manual testing, you can find a job as as a tester. But of course, the salary is low; it's around sixty, seventy thousand dollars. And uh, a lot of a lot of people right now, right, they're going to automation, right, or coding. So even in our right, so that's why in our bootcamp we're teaching you about coding, about programming. We're gonna teach you Java programming language, is which is one of the strongest and commonly used programming languages. And uh, this is a very base to the bootcamp, like first three months. And then after that, we're gonna learn, we're gonna teach you, right? We're gonna, oops, there was a problem with my PowerPoint. So let me open it again. Sorry, guys. So I'm gonna go to my, Okay, so as I was talking about, uh, we don't teach Python, we teach Java. And then of course, when you go to the, whenever you go to the companies, uh, a lot of companies, they uh, may, might be using different tools or different programming languages. They, they still gonna hire you as long as you know one of them, as long as you have experience right in those tools. And then after you learn about coding or programming language, you're gonna learn about automation. You're gonna learn about testing. So how to do right those tests that we learned manual at the beginning, how you're gonna do them uh, with the coding, with the scripts, right? With you writing your code there. And uh, we're gonna learn the, the tools which are uh, Selenium, TestNG, Cucumber, those tools I'm gonna, in the next slide, I'm gonna show you about the tools. And, uh, and then we teach you about how to test the software. So even with these three first parts, guys, so you can work as a, software tester as a front-end tester. So whatever the customers see, right? Whatever the users see in your, in our, because you let me make clear when you work as a software tester for a company, you're hired by the company. So let us, let's get the example of you're working for Bank of America. They have a application there, right? So the developers are building, the developers are building uh, the, the Bank of America application. And US testers are testing Bank of America application and you're hired by Bank of America company to make sure that you are finding those problems, as I said, before they go to the customer. So at this part here, guys, you can work as front test tester, right? So that is one, one thing that you can do. But we don't stop there. We also teach you database and API. So everything that you are looking as, a, for example, as a user, you're looking at the, at the application, but actually all those data were trans transactions. If we're talking about a bank application, the transactions, all your, uh, let's say balance and all your accounts and everything, those are stored in a database. So 
you also going to learn how to, to test the database, how to test the API. So those are the back part of the application, which the customers don't see. So after you learn about front-end testing and after you learn about back-end testing, you know both together and you are considered as full-stack tester. So during our bootcamp, during these six months, you will learn, right? You'll learn about front-end testing, about back-end testing, and then you will be exposed to a lot of job openings. Those that require manual testing, those that require back-end testing, those that require front-end front -end testing, and those that require uh, full-stack testing, right? So all of these things you'll be exposed at the end of the bootcamp. So during our bootcamp, also we prepare you for the interview. So one of our strong points is that we want to make you ready, right? We want to make you ready for the, for the because you're going to go to the interviews, right? So you're going to be able at the end to find the job yourself. You're going to go to the interviews. You're going to be prepared for those. And also, we're going to prepare your resume, right? Together with you, we're going to teach you how to prepare a resume. We're going to go over your resume. And also, we're going to teach you how to apply for the job. So at the end of the bootcamp, when you're done with the six months, after that, then it starts the uh, job placement, right? Or that part when you are looking in the market for a job, when you're applying to a lot of jobs, you start getting some, some interviews, some, uh, and then you go to the interviews. And after that, hopefully, you're going to get an offer, right? Or maybe multiple offers, as some of our students have done. So this is right. There is the flow of how the bootcamp goes. And as I said, don't expect that when the bootcamp is over, the first day of bootcamp, you're going to be hired as a tester. After the bootcamp is over, you're going to look for a job and it takes sometimes two weeks, sometimes one month, sometimes two months, depending on how ready you are, how, how good you are with interviews. And then that's how you're going to be able to right, to, to be uh, working as a software tester. So as I mentioned, one, right, these are the tools that we teach guys. So we see some questions there. So we're going to, I mean, we don't want to go too much into details because there are too many technical information, but we want you to give a view overview about what are the tools that we teach and you can do and do, go and do a search if these are good tools and if you, right, and then if if this us, if there, these tools are enough, okay? So we're going to teach Java programming language and it will take three, first three months of the bootcamp to learn Java. Uh, then you're going to learn about Selenium. Selenium is a tool which allows you, right, with your code to open the browser and to interact with the browser. Then you're going to learn about Test and G and Cucumber, which are the testing tools. Those will be able for you to, to make some assessments, right, to make sure that if there's something goes wrong, you can take a picture and then you can report to the, to the development team. And then after that, you learn about, right, JUnit. You learn about Maven. So all of these tools will be taught. I don't want you to be scared, right? Because we're going to, right? We have done this one multiple times. So this is our uh, seventh batch, right? So that seventh group of students, we have done this one multiple times and we have gone through this curriculum multiple times. And then, as I mentioned, right, database. So MySQL is, right, a tool which, which you are going to use, you're going to learn, and then you're going to uh, use it during our bootcamp. And as I said, if, when you go to the interviews, guys, maybe there are other different different uh, databases. So for example, we have MySQL, we have Microsoft SQL Server, you have Oracle database, you have different databases, but 95% all of them are the same. If you know one of them, and if you go to a company which is using a different type of database, still they will hire you because you, as long as you have those knowledge, as not long as you know how to do them, okay? And Postman and Rest Assured are the tools that allow you to, allow you to uh, test the APIs, okay? So these are the tools that we teach and we're going to, right, we're going to practice all of them every day. We're going to do a class, right? We're going to teach them in practice, of course, not just give you a presentation, but we're going to teach them one by one. And also we're going to give you homework so that you are learning those stuff. And then in the next class, we solve the homework together with you. And then we continue teaching you new stuff. And every week we do a review of the whole week and that's how you learn. Okay. So. Uh, this is right. These are the things that we offer, guys. So first of all, uh, we're gonna give you, of course, one of the things that we do during the bootcamp. We give you a couple of projects to make sure that whatever we're teaching, step by step, you are learning. So we're gonna give you a group project, which you're gonna go uh, do it together, right? Uh, together with your group, like a group of ten people, and also, right? And also, you're gonna have an individual project, which you're gonna do to get uh, alone on your own. So, uh, of course, right, during your group project, you're going to have like how you work with the team, right? Those things that are done. And one of our mentors, and we're going to talk about the mentors, are people who have probably done the bootcamp or have been working as software testers for 
for five years, right? As of right now, they have a lot of experience. They will be with you. They'll be mentoring the group and they'll teach you how this is done in real life in their company. So we're going to teach you all the, uh, we're going to teach you all. I see the questions there, guys, but I'm going to come to the question later because I don't want it to interrupt my, my presentation. So we're going to teach you all the tools, all the strategies, or the methods that are, are done in the current, right? In the current technology as of right now that are the, the trends. Uh, all the courses will be online. So you can enjoy, you can watch the courses from home. All the courses will be live as of right now, guys. For example, now we're doing like we're explaining you the bootcamp. You are watching this one from, from home and you're going to be able to watch all the classes live from home and you're going to be able to ask questions. But the good thing is that whatever we do, we also record and also we share the recordings with you so that you can watch the recordings later so that if you want to rewatch it or if one of you wasn't able to join the class, you're going to have all the recordings there. They will be shared with you and you're going to be able to watch them even later if you cannot join the class. So even this presentation now, guys, is being recorded and we're going to share this, this recording with you, right? Uh, maybe you want to share it with your friends. Maybe you want to rewatch it again. We're going to share also this, this uh, recording with you after the, uh, after the presentation. So as I said, right, I talked about our mentorship program. So we have our uh, mentors, which are people, right? Uh, experienced people who have been working as software testers for, for years now, and they will share their experience, how it works in their company, how they have problems and how they resolve problems in their company, and they're going to be uh, with you during this journey. Also, as I said, at the end, when you're done with, right, even during the, during the boot camp, we're going to prepare you for the interview, but at the end, we're going to get one by one, each of you guys, right, the students, we do a mock interview to see if they're ready. So did you learn Java? How, how good you are in Java? And then you're going to ask some Selenium questions, some test NG, Cucumbers, uh, Git, database, API questions. And then at the end, we give you a feedback. If you're ready, then you prepare your resume and you start looking for a job and start uh, applying to different companies and going to the interviews. If you're not ready, we'll let you know that, you know what, you need to work a little bit on your SQL skills or maybe on your Java skills, on, on your Git skills. And then at the end, right? And then at the end, you're going to do another mock interview. And then if you're ready, then you start applying for a job. So we want you to be ready to be prepared for the market so that when you go to the interviews, you will, you will uh, have a real experience of how the interviews are done and everything. And then, of course, we have a lot of students that, that have been graduated. They are they're working in the field. They, are, uh, they have found jobs recently. So those and also recruiters that are working with us, we're going to try, we'll help you to, to be exposed to the jobs, to be going to the, to the interviews and help you find the, the dream job as, as it was asked at the beginning. Uh, <clears throat> and then, of course, guys, even when you're done, even when you're looking for a job, even when you get offers, still you'll need our help. Still we'll help you how to maximize your compensation. For example, you have two jobs. One of them is part-time with a higher salary, one is full-time with le less salary, right? Which one is better for you? Or sometimes when you're applying for jobs, you, you get questions like share your uh, green card or your passport or your information, drive a license with us. Is this a legit, legit question? Should you share those information or your social security uh, question, so your social security number with them? Those are things that we help you, we teach you what to do, how to behave in these situations. Or sometimes the recruiters, they're trying to lowball you to give you a low offer. So we make sure that you get whatever you deserve, right? Uh, that you need to, to get there. So again, I saw questions about schedule. This is the schedule, guys. So these are the mandatory classes. These classes are Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, weekdays from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. So three hours on Tuesday, three hours on Wednesday, three hours on Thursday. So nine hours during the week. Of course, all these times here, guys, are Eastern time. So New York and New Jersey time. If you are in different time zone, please make sure that you do your calculation because this might be different for, for you. If you are in, in California, for example, this is 4 p.m. to 7 p.m., okay? And uh, on Saturday and Sunday, we have classes from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. The classes are live. The teacher is teaching as I'm doing right now. And... Right, and then you also will be able to ask your questions after the class. Everything will be recorded. It will be shared with you, and you can rewatch them after the class 
whenever, right? Whenever you're free and whenever you want to watch them. So this are this is the schedule. This is the time that we strongly recommend you to to join and to be able to watch, right? And to to follow the the lessons. So uh, this is 17 hours during the week. A lot of things that we're gonna teach you. And as I said, after the class is done, we're gonna give you homework to see if whatever was taught, if if it is if if it's processed from you, right? If you have learned them. So by the way, guys, I just want to know you here because we did it this schedule in a way that you are combining technical classes with soft skill classes. So on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, we have technical classes. And on Sunday, we review the whole week. Whatever we learn during the week, we review everything on Sunday. We don't learn anything new on Sunday. On Wednesday, we have those soft skill classes. So what is testing? What are the tools that are used? What are the terminology that are used? So not technical, but soft skill classes. So we have done this one in a way so that you are learning technical skills and sometimes you're learning also terminology or soft skill or behavioral stuff. Okay, so this is the schedule, guys. Uh, and what are the things that we expect from you? So as Eric mentioned, you don't need to have a perfect English, guys. So we have a lot of people who are coming from a different background, but you need to be able to communicate in English. You, be, you need to be able to understand whatever we're teaching and to express those because you're going to go to the interviews and you're going to land a job yourself. So if you're not able to talk in English, if you don't understand, I don't suggest you to do this to do this boot camp. So that's number one. Number two is you need to have a work authorization. So if you are from United States and if you want to find a job in the United States, you have to have a work authorization in the United States. If you are from Canada, again, the same thing. You need to have a work authorization from Canada. It's not possible for you to be in in uh, Europe and to work from United States. So I want you to know, I don't want you to have hopes, right? Wrong hopes. So this is the truth. You need to have your work authorization so that you're going to be able to find the job right at the end of the bootcamp. So uh, this are right. This is the thing. And the third and the most important thing, guys, it's your commitment. If you take the bootcamp seriously, if you commit, if you study hard and if you follow everything, then at the end, you're going to be able to go to the interviews and you're going to be able to find the job. If you don't take the bootcamp seriously, if you don't learn the things, if you don't follow the classes, at the end, you will not be able to find the job. I want you to know these things before you decide about the bootcamp and everything. So we're going to talk about the price and everything. But as of right now, I'm going to invite a, a couple of a couple of our alumni. So let me stop sharing. Can you please raise your hand so that I can uh, invite you and, and you can share your, your camera and you can... Oh, Janair is here. Hi, Janair, how are you doing? Good, everyone. How are you? How is everything? Good, good. And Delia is also here. You can also share your camera, Delia. Hi, everyone. Hi, how are you doing? Doing great. Thank you. How are you? Good, good. So, uh, by the way, guys, so we invited a couple of our alumni. They had done the boot camp with us. They have looked for a job. They found a job. And now they're working for some months or for a couple of years as software uh, software testers. And uh, they're going to share their experience with you, how the boot camp was. And then you can also ask your questions. I'm going to direct your questions to you after they do their introduction. Let's start with, with uh, John. Yes, John. Uh, thank you. So I was in the boot camp two years ago, so one and a half years. I started in two years ago and one and a half years now I'm working at the same company and everything is going great. In the process, I basically simply trusted the instructors and then they have very well structured uh, way of teaching and the resources were very enough. Uh, so basically I followed their lead. I did what they said i follow the classes when i missed classes i watched the recordings and i did recap on it uh, many times and then after it was a smooth process for me i can say really when you follow the instructions it, it gets smooth so i didn't struggle a lot uh, especially the last three months i did i paid more attention i give my, all my focus to this and then after uh, it was very easy process, I would say. 
Okay, perfect. And Delia, if you want to share your, your introduce yourself and share your experience. Absolutely. Hi, everyone. My name is Delia. I was badge four, I believe, uh, with Neotech. Uh, the course is about six months. I come from a background of an accounting student. Unfortunately, I didn't get to finish my degree first. And uh, I've heard about this boot camp and I was just like one of you sitting in an info session, learning everything about this boot camp. And I was very nervous. I'm going to be honest, but uh, I trusted the process. I started this boot camp and uh, I'll be honest, the first couple months are the first month, I would say, is a little bit challenging because you're introduced to a lot of new information at first and it's very fast paced. But you have a lot of great instructors. They lead you. They know. Uh, they know how to prepare you best. They know uh, how to teach you best. So my advice is uh, just attend all of the classes if you can. Rewatch all the recordings. Don't forget to do your homework and just make sure that you're always prepared because they've already done this process with so many students. So they know the best routes for to help you guys with your future. Okay. Perfect. So by the way, guys, some of you have started doing so. Uh, I'm gonna look at the questions from from chat. I'm gonna direct them to uh, to to John and to Delia. So uh, you can, if you can, keep your camera open and if you can answer them as short as possible, just give whatever your your um, uh, let's say your feeling or your experience was. So I'm gonna start with one of the questions with John. So how long did it take for you to find a job? Uh, I got my first offer in sixth month of apply, uh, sixth week of applying. So yeah, like uh, one and a half month. What about your Delia? I got my first offer almost six months after applying, but I did take a break uh, in between. So, so after the boot camp, you took a break for a couple of months. Maybe went to visit your family or something like that. Yeah, and also catching up uh, on all the coursework that I was behind. Okay, perfect. And uh, how were, how hard was job to learn Java for you, John? Um, first couple weeks it was a little bit. No, first couple weeks it was easy, but it, at some point it got harder. But after there is like a you know uh, kind of milestone and you pass that, it gets smoother. So at some maybe between three to fifth week I struggled, but after it got smoother. So by the way, guys, so that you know, uh, let's say we have done this one with six batches so far. So after each batch, we try to improve our curriculum and try to improve our tools. So as of right now, you can ask, if you go to our website, you can ask for sample classes. So before the bootcamp starts, we said that the bootcamp will start in uh, April 21st, but until it starts, you have plenty of time to prepare for it. Watch some of the sample classes so that maybe it will be easier and smoother for you the first, first couple of weeks. Uh, one question. I don't know, like if you'd like to answer, Delia, why should I choose software testing instead of data analyst or, or data scientist or cybersecurity? I would say that it's a competitive field, but there's always openings. Even where I'm working right now, we have right now, we currently have like four job openings for a automa automation tester. So there's, it's a very big and expanding field. You're, you're always going to have new opportunities. Yeah, but by, by the way, of course, that's a, uh, whatever you prefer. So if you prefer to go to cybersecurity, of course, you can take a, another like a cybersecurity uh, bootcamp. So how many testers does a company have? So in your company, how many testers there are, John? We have right now around 10, 10, 11. We have two separate teams, so it should be something like 10, 11. 10 testers? Yes. So generally in a team of, let's say, a team, how many developers per testers, let's say the ratio? In our team, there are six, uh, five developers and six testers. In the other team, should the ratio should be around the same. What about in your company, Delia? Uh, we have a pretty small team of testers. It's breaking, breaking down into two teams. So we have about five in each. Okay. So, uh, how much time does the homework takes in average? Delia, if you can uh, answer this question. It's really up to you. If you if you paid attention in class, if you follow everything, then uh, it shouldn't take you more than 30 minutes, I would say. Okay, what about yours, John? 
Yeah, I mean, some some homeworks were easier, but there was some of them I, you know, I spent a lot more time. But even when you are spending a lot more time, you learn a lot as well. The mistakes you do, debugging, etc. So any time spent is a win, actually. Yeah, perfect. So the more time you spend, uh, yeah. the more time you get, the more you learn. And of course, as we said, like even when you try, maybe you do the homework wrong, but in the next class, we go over the homework. And then maybe you learn a better way from the teacher and a, or a, let's say a different way. So Denise is asking, is this one doable if you have a full-time job? Did you have a job during the bootcamp, Dilia? Uh, I had a part-time job and I literally just had a baby three months prior to joining the bootcamp. So yes, it is possible, I would say. <laughs> what about you, John? I didn't have a job, but I know people, my uh, friends in the same batch, some of them had, a, had jobs and they still found, find jobs as well. So it's very doable. Yeah. So probably Delia had a baby before the bootcamp because in Neotech, guys, we tell our students, don't <laughs> make any babies during the bootcamp. Make sure that you follow the classes and spend a lot of time. So this is just like a joke between us. So uh, do you need any prior coding experience, John? before the bootcamp did you have any and do do you need uh no i didn't have any i was a chef before so i wasn't in from it or nothing like that so and the next question is what's john's john's professional background so you said you were a chef before the bootcamp and what yeah, what, what perfect and what was your background delia i was an accounting student okay did you have any coding experience or programming experience nothing no coding experience nothing prior so this was my first introduction to everything and by the way, guys, I remember once there was a student who had prior experience and since they don't take boot, boot camp seriously at the beginning, maybe it's easy for them, but after that, it might become difficult because they don't spend enough, enough time. So the students who take it seriously and don't have any background, they are more, uh, let's say generally are more successful. So like how many uh, do you, how much do you guys make if you want? Okay, so now the next question is, the uh, salary so if you can give a range or something about your salary uh john uh it's it's good six figures i would say okay so it's above a hundred thousand dollars yes yes okay yeah. what about your delia is it close to that yeah it's it's close to that it's very similar yeah so by the way as we said i do give a range and of course depending on on the company depending on the position depending also on your on your skills it might change so it goes from 90 to 130 sometimes we have seen students who go beyond even 130 so uh like depending on depending on the uh, uh depending on the company depending on your on your on your skills so uh do you work from home or hybrid john remote from home fully remote fully remote what about your job delia uh, right now I'm working uh, on site every every day, but in about a month and a half I'll be switching to a hybrid setting. So three days uh, from home and two days on site. Okay, perfect. So they they wanted you to learn at the first couple of months to be there so that you learn the process, maybe. Yeah, and I'm also a government contractor, so it's a lot of um, permission things that I have to go through the whole process where before they can let me work remotely. Okay, very good. So, by the way, uh, and we we mentioned this one, so you might have a background, you may have a bachelor degree in a different field, but sometimes even if you don't have a bachelor degree, it can you can find a job, but I don't know if if it, what do you think guys, is it possible since you have been in the market like months ago? So do you think it's possible to to find a job even without a bachelor degree? I think so. i I know a friend that who found a job without a bachelor degree as well. Yes. Yeah. But again, like if if you uh, if you have a, have a bachelor, even if it's in a different field, again, it might help, right? So there are people from different fields, but they don't. And sometimes they also might write in the in the job openings. They might say that uh, you have to have a computer science background, but even if you don't have it, still they consider as long as you know the tools and you can do the job. Yeah. So I don't know if you can give right. Uh, if you can give let's 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 ask uh john first so uh how does your how does your one day work look so how many hours per day do you work uh so uh, you, uh, you you can be in our company you can be online at 8 a.m or 9 a.m as well so it's not very strict and if i'm working on a ticket 
which is, uh, you know, some new functionality if it is developed and I'm testing that. I'm doing those testings and then I'm sharing the results at the JIRA that we, you guys will be learning that, how to use it. And yeah, it's like uh, there's no micromanaging or anything like that. And the environment is very, very good, actually, the people. So it's a very nice company to work. Okay, perfect. So what about you, Delia? And a question is like, when you go to work, do you have assignments each day or are they assigned weekly? How? I mean, of course, we're going to talk about sprint methodologies, all the things that are done there. But if you can give a simple explanation for, for one of the... Of course, uh, it's it's not really micromanaged. It's not monitored. We usually get a ticketing system. So we um, we just uh, assign it to ourselves based on our availability. So it's really up to up to you if you're busy or if you're working on other things, you can take on as many things as you can based on your um, availability. Yeah. So by the way, guys, as I explained, so we talk about all these methodologies that are used in the IT industry. So there is a, spr uh, a sprint where you like sometimes it's once a week, sometimes in twice, you know, one, once in two weeks, you at the beginning of the week, you are assigned some tasks. And during every day, you they ask you, are you working? Do you need anything? Are, do you have any blockers? Stuff like that, which are called stand up meetings. So we're going to talk about all these things during our they are during our boot camp. So uh, another question, so maybe it's not about it's for you. Uh, would you say this bootcamp can be self-paced? So by the way, this bootcamp, we have our, our, our schedule, so it's not self-paced. Uh, so the students, they have to follow the schedule. But if you want to watch it on your own time, of course, it might take longer. You might lose your motivation, but of course, definitely it can be done because everything is, as we said, it's recorded and it's shared with you. But we definitely strongly recommend you to, to follow them with the flow of the, of, the, of the class because you are motivated and you are following the class one by one. So another question from Ilirian to John is uh, how long? Uh, so sometimes the questions are, I need to rephrase it. So no, it's... how long do, does it take for you to, to go to more than 100K? I don't know. Um, I mean, that, that's, that, that's my first the first job. And all the offers I got, I got five offers. So all of them was over 100K. So according to their um, interview, performance i would say and then if they if they just follow the resources and then if they get prepared and then if at the mock interview if they do well as well and when they are ready anyone can do it i'm sure so you said that you got five offers yeah and then you went with the best of them whatever it was yeah exactly I, I, I choose the... for benefits and stuff right yep all of them were remote remote too and this one I choose and I don't regret it. Like I choose this one. It's pretty nice. Okay. What about you, Dilia? You got one offer or multiple offers? Uh, I had two offers and I went with this one because uh, I feel like it will be a lot better for me in the future because it does come with uh, a security clearance and you work as a government contractor. So I feel like once, uh, once I've worked there for a couple of years, it'll be a lot easier for me to advance in my career. Perfect. And then if I can start with John, how helpful was Neotech with you like after the bootcamp, not only during the bootcamp, but when you were like in the market and... They were great. I never felt alone and I never felt, you know, they were great and still they're helping me actually. We are still very, very well in contact and in touch with the instructors and, you know, they are very helpful. And I recommended Neotech to uh my other friends to actually one one of them just graduated now so um, yeah i mean i glad i choose i choose neotech honestly for for real thank you and uh and by the way if you have any openings in your company as of right now just you can refer to our students because we have some students in the market right now of course so and, and the question for delia is i'm currently uh from katie uh i'm currently working as an accountant student uh how did you decide if uh, it wasn't for you anymore. Oh, okay. So why did, let's say the question is why, when did you decide that you want to switch from accounting to, to, to testing or to, to IT? Uh, I was, uh, about three years into my accounting degree and, uh, I was studying tax accounting. So, um, I know that, um, every year the tax laws change and everything. And uh, my brother actually finished this this boot camp as well, and he was the one who referred me. And he's currently also working in the industry. 
uh, he's working from home. He has a remote job. So he was the one who um, led me uh, to this boot camp and he introduced me to everyone. And I couldn't say enough good things about this because even um, even when I was questioning, even when I was doubting if I left accounting for the right reasons or not, um, all the mentors and all the instructors are very helpful there. You never feel like you're truly alone. They're always there every step of the way preparing you for interviews, helping you with homework. They even help you with one-on-one -on -one sessions after classes if you're confused about something. So that was one of the main reasons why I felt like it was okay for me to switch from accounting to computer science because of this boot camp and because of how supported I felt. Oh, thank you. So another question here is about the certificate. So by the way, guys, at the end of the boot camp, we our boot camp is not designed for you to give a certificate, but it's designed for you to prepare for the job and to help you to find a job at the end. So. We can give you a certificate, but as long as you don't find a job, you, there is no, you don't need those certificates. So uh, thank you very much for joining. If you have any final, I am done with the questions. If you have any final, I don't know, suggestions for people who are thinking about being a student, uh, let's start with you, John, and then with Delia. Uh, I would suggest them to go for it. I don't think if they follow the instructions and if they study a day-to-day -day basis and then if they just keep it positive and if they believe i'm sure they can do it and i i don't think anyone would regret it after they do what is necessary and when they get a job anyone would be very happy and uh, their life would be changed in a good direction thank you and delia and i would join john on everything that he said uh just Follow everything and uh, do your homework and follow the coursework to the very end. Don't say that you can skip some classes and then catch up at the end. It will come back to bite you. So I would say that just study and just do everything according to the course because it, it does pay off. Yeah, be on top of everything, right? So thank you very much for joining and for your time, guys. And maybe we're going to invite you again in the future. And whenever you also need our help, just you are in contact with our team. Thank you very much. And Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Ahmed, you can take it from there. Thank you both. Uh, Delia, John, and also Eric was amazing. Elion, thank you too. So let me share my screen. And in the meantime, I can introduce myself. My name is Ahmed. I am one of the uh, co-founders of Net Academy, and I'm also an instructor here. On top of that, I'm actively working as a software tester. Uh, so I hope you guys can see my screen. Okay. So throughout the program, this is how you're going to be learning, how we're going to be getting to the point where John and Delia is. Obviously, it's going to be the live classes. Uh, it's going to be uh, the projects that we have talked about, office hours, homework, tasks, assignments, group projects, and everything. But is that enough? Like, is that going to be putting you in a high-paying IT job? Obviously not. The next step is going to be the job placement. So what we provide in the in the job placement process, obviously in order for you to complete our program, you will be going through mock interviews where it's a, a safe environment. You can just get a good feedback, but it's just gonna be like a real one. Uh, we will be helping you with a designated placement team on building your resume uh, to target the most available jobs in the job market. Uh, we will be giving you extensive market knowledge, which will also include how to apply for jobs, when to apply and everything. Uh, we will be throughout the program, not just for, by the job placement part, throughout the program, we will increase uh, the knowledge or like we will give you lots of information about soft skills, how to answer uh, behavioral questions rather than just technical questions. And obviously this is going to be continuing with the one-on-one -on -one mentoring and you will have access to these wonderful people that we have, our alumni, alumni network. And like, if there's a job available, guess who's going to be uh, eligible for that job? You guys will be, so this is really important. And obviously the next, within the next slides, I will show you guys some offer letters, how they look, and we will be helping out with the salary negotiation, how to get the best of it. So as, I mean, I'm sure John and Delia can attest that once they receive their offers, we actually, stand in the line, we had a conversation and we discussed which is the best one for them. Because at, at the end of the day, this is really important. They look similar, yet we want you to get the maximum compensation from every one of them and choose the best offer for you. This is how we do it. So this is, a, this is just to reflect how does the 
uh, job market looking like or like how much of software development engineering test is making. So this is from Glassdoor. You can do your own research too. This might, you know, go a little bit up, go a little bit down. So this is one thing. But obviously, I want to show you guys how does the job market look from our perspective. Let me switch to my second screen here. Okay, so here are some offer letters that I wanted to show you guys. So this is relatively new for February 13 again. Uh, this is a higher title, but again, 120K. As you can see, it's the, this is a recent uh, candidate that started the, the company. This is again, February 9. 90k annual salary obviously there are lots of benefits that we are going to be discussing that's also a part of our salary negotiation or not just the salary but like the negotiation part uh there, here's another one this is a little bit far end you know the location uh and the, the cost of living changes the offer that you're getting so this is a new york uh you have to as far as i remember this was a hybrid position so that's why it was the high end of the things but doesn't matter still you know, as an IT called engineering specialist, this is the title. You are eligible for that. This is another one, again, uh, 125,000 quality assurance engineer. And we have so many more, obviously, if the time allows. I mean, I don't want to go over that. But these are the uh, offer letters that you will be receiving. And accordingly, we'll be there uh, to help you. We'll be there for you, for you to actually get these offers, okay? So let me switch back. Here are some companies that our alumni is actively working for. And, you know, like there are so many others that we didn't even list here. Uh, you can be easily eligible for that uh, with the help of us. So I am going to give microphone back to Eric for the rest of the presentation. And for the placement related questions at the end of the, uh, the, end of the session, we will have a Q&A section. So I'll, I will be there to answer your questions, okay? So Eric, are you there? All right, there we go. Yeah, thanks so much for that, Ahmed. So I, I want to ask this question. How many of you know someone who got a degree or some sort of training and they aren't even working in that field? Or, you know, I'll give you an example. I, I have family that went to school spending, you know, tens of thousands of dollars and they aren't even working in those fields uh, that they studied. And actually, they never had a, a career in what they studied in university. Um, can you guys see my screen okay where it says average cost of IT tuition? I just want to make sure that's coming through. Uh, average college tuition for a public university with all the extras can be well over $30,000 a year. You know, it, some of you probably know this, but, you know, private university in the U.S. can be 50, 60, 70 thousand dollars a year. It's crazy, isn't it? So think about that. Over two hundred thousand dollars for a college education. And guess what? You might not even find a job afterwards, <laughs> you know, because the University of Michigan or, you know, Georgetown or Princeton, they aren't incentivized to help you with job placement. The average boot camp is well over thirteen thousand dollars, which is which is unattainable for a lot of people. So here, here's what we've done to, to help people get their new career. And really, I would say their new life started. We have the tuition broken down into two parts. I want to walk you through this and how it works. OK, so the first is the regular tuition. We'll, we'll just call it that, which is only forty nine hundred dollars, four thousand nine hundred dollars. We have an early bird discount which is the deadline on this is March 15th. That takes an extra $300 off. So if you enroll before or by March 15th, you get an extra $300 off. We have a special webinar discount for tonight. So make a note of this code, guys. Just write down webinar or just take a screenshot, whatever. Webinar, uh, dollar sign, 50 off. That, that's available for tonight, okay? So that would then bring the total to 45.50. OK, now the way we work this is that seven monthly installments of six hundred and fifty dollars. Now, keep it in mind, this whole process. Is risk free for you because we're taking all the risk and I'll, and I'll show you why in just a second. OK, but it's in our best interest to not just train you, but to actually help 
find you a job, you know, help you in job placement, like Amet was just talking about a moment ago. So rather than you investing a larger amount up front, like most boot camps, we offer a small tuition paid over time. And then the balance of your tuition is paid for in a placement fee. And the way that works is this. Because we, we would love if everyone in this webinar became one of our students and ultimately a graduate, but a boot camp can be cost prohibitive for some folks, like I was saying. So to help out, um, what we've done is we come up with a creative way to make it attainable for most people. So instead of being responsible for the entire tuition up front, we partner up with you. You pay a portion of the tuition, and then we help you in job placement after graduation upon getting a job. You then pay a one-time, that's at a one-time placement fee of 85% of only your first month's salary. Not the entire year. It's only your first month's salary. And that's paid out over four months. So again, rather than paying your entire boot camp investment up front, we're partnering up with you. Now, if you think about it, we're on the same side of the table as you because we're helping you actually find that first IT job. So would you agree then that it's it, it's in our best interest to not just train you, but but also help you in the job search? And of course, because we're incentivized to help you in your job search and, and to help you land that, that first job as quickly as possible. And again, that's four monthly installments. It's not the entire year. It's just 85% as a placement fee for your first month, and it helps out. So you're not paying the entire thing up front. We also offer additional discounts, which you might be eligible for. Uh, if you are referred by someone, you just have to mention their name in the application form. The um, And then there are group discounts. So we encourage folks to sign up as part of a group. So groups of two, if, if there are two of you, each student gets an extra $150 off. So the, so the tuitions keep coming down, down, down. And the reason why we encourage people to sign up in groups is because you can motivate each other. You can help solve problems. You can do the homework together. Um, you know, when I was in school, um, I, I never, I never got caught cheating in school. You know, I never got cheating. Um, but, but whose, whose paper did you cheat off? You cheat off the smart kids, you know, paper, right? So just cheat off. I'm just, I'm just playing with you guys, okay? Just, just be sure to cheat off the smart kid, the smart friend, okay? <laughs> so groups of three, um, you know, each student gets two hundred dollars off. If you sign up in a group of three, groups of four or more, reach out to us, contact us, and we'll let you know what that will wind up being, okay? Here's a big question. What if I change my mind later? Well, there's no deposit. There's no application fee. You don't pay anything until a boot camp actually kicks off. You can cancel for free anytime until the boot camp actually starts, which is April 21st, okay? So... And by the way, it, it might seem like a little ways away, April 21st, but you really need to reserve your spot. So take advantage of the extra discounts. We have that extra $50 off tonight using that promo code. And, and there are some things that we'll have you do in advance of the boot camp to help you prepare for that, okay? But we start on April 21st. We have a 30-day money-back guarantee, 100% refund, no questions asked, if you decide to leave anytime until May 21st. So guys, you can't go wrong with this. It winds up being risk-free if you truly think about it, and we're even helping you out in the job placement. We make it really easy to get a hold of us. You can schedule a call by going to uh, neotech.live uh, forward slash call. You see the, the link there. You can also go to neotechacademy.com, apply. Let me see if I can pull that over here. There we go. I got so many screens in my office. So what you do is you go to neotechacademy.com forward slash apply, and then you simply submit your application. It's, it's real straightforward. I mean, guys, you've done this sort of thing a million times. You do put in your name, put in your email address, um, your phone number with your country code. How'd you hear about us? We'd appreciate it if you just click that real quickly. And if you have a reference name, if you were given a referral or any type of discount code, have anything else extra. This will take you all of maybe one minute to do. It's not, it's it's hardly any time, guys. Uh, neotechacademy.com forward slash apply. All right. And again, be sure to keep in mind, uh, be sure to type in uh, who referred you, you know, if applicable, you know, if it was an influencer or family friend, um, just have to do that uh, when, when you go to the apply link there. All right. We encourage you to schedule a call. Uh, we do have a direct line, 929-566-3919.
but we we really would prefer that you schedule a call just because of the huge call volume. That's our preferred contact method. Uh, we are actively working on opening up more slots. If a slot isn't available soon, don't worry, you'll still get the discounts I talked about tonight. That's a common question people have because they go in there to schedule the call. You see the link right there, neotech.live forward slash call, and, and the closest one or the nearest one is like two weeks out. Don't worry about that. You're still going to get all the discounts that we talked about tonight. So you'll you'll be good. Uh, you can do that, or you can simply email team at neotechacademy.com. But let's just, as we start to wrap this up, guys, and we'll get to your Q&A in just a second. We'll get to the, your questions in just a second. Why join Neotech Academy? Well, let's look at the first one here, the first line. Let's say you decide to take the self-taught route. All right, so how long is that gonna take you? Who knows, right? I mean, so many people are, I, I think by nature, procrastinators. A buddy of mine, I always like to joke, he's been saying he's gonna read War and Peace for the last 20 years. He still hasn't gotten around to it. So, you know, university can take four years or more for that degree. An online course is gonna be self-paced. Who knows how long that's gonna take you. With us, it's six months. And like I was saying at the outset, folks, what you'll learn in six months will be equivalent to someone being in this industry for years. You're just going to be inundated with information. It's going to be like, you know, drinking from a uh, fire hydrant, but we're, we're there to hold your hand. It's not going to be overwhelming. Think about where you could be, like I was saying at the beginning, you know, six months after the course starts. You can learn by yourself. Sure. Will you know exactly what to teach yourself, however? You might not. You might be learning uh, antiquated information. University, in, you know, learning, well, it's non-interactive. Online courses aren't supervised. With us, it's hands-on, live, real teachers, guys who are actually in the industry. You know, if you're self-taught, really no industry expert, you know, really no industry trainer because you're teaching yourself and you don't really know anything about this, right? University, well, a university may or may not have someone who's an industry expert training you. And I wouldn't even really say that they're training you at university. They're giving you information, sure. Online courses, no, that's not there. So career services, self-taught, eh, you know, not really there. With us, it's extensive, individualized, along with the industry expert trainers. Uh, university is more generic, it's more limited. Some of the information might even be outdated. You know, the learning content is up to you if you're self-taught. With us, it's market-driven. We're constantly keeping up with new trends. We're staying on top of that at all times. Because, again, our instructors are actually in the industry. Uh, university, yeah, you know, it's just too theoretical. Online courses, it really depends as far as their learning content is concerned. With us, we're keeping up to date on everything. The learning community, if you're self-taught, well, there is no community. I mean, you're by yourself. No mentorship, no tech support. You know, at university, uh, may or may not have a learning community, more often not. Mentorship at a university, where there's too many students. With us, it's one-on-one -on -one mentorship. As far as the tech support, it's nearly 24-7. So we have hundreds of graduates. You just heard from a couple of them earlier th that are out there in the IT workforce. Our program really is tested. It's proven. And again, guys, you're going to learn from people who have actually done it. And that's really key. So often when you're in university, you, you learn from people who aren't really doing it. You know, so the, the people teaching business classes that have never run a business, you know, for example. All right, folks, let's get to all your questions. I'm going to bring back all my panelists here. Amat, Ilion, they can come back on and we're, we're going to get to all your questions here as many as we can. Yeah, everybody. So if you have questions, definitely you can ask them in uh chat section of uh, Zoom. So I think uh if we can go back to the to the price one more time, Eric, since you have the uh share screen. Uh yes. So here, right, we talked about right, we talked about a couple of discounts. So I want to make sure that you are you understand the process here. So the price normally about the bootcamp is four thousand. So the tuition during the during the bootcamp is Four thousand nine hundred dollars, and then you have the early bird discount for people who are, uh, let's say, registering early, so that they reserve their spot as as of right now to make sure that we also we know about the number of the students that we have in in uh, April twenty first, and of course another uh, fifty dollars uh, discount there. So the tuition is four thousand five hundred fifty dollars, 
And then if you break it into seven monthly installments, so we start the first day, we get the first, the first payment. And then after that, every month, right, for uh, we'll get seven months of installments, and then it's 650 per month. So this is the tuition fee the, during the during the boot camp. So we teach the tools and everything. After that, only after you find the job, then we ask you, right, for the 85% of your first month salary, not of your one year salary, of first month salary, 85%, because we also help you with finding a job. We also have our team of experts and Ahmed is the lead of the uh, of the job placement team then we help you with with the, with the interviews with the job market we push you to make sure that you find a job even after you get a couple of offers we help you to make sure that to make sure that you are you are uh, you are getting the best the best offer possible as as in the case of Delia and and uh, Janer and then this one also is paid in installments so it's four monthly installments so we don't come to you the first month you just pay everything to us and then you don't have anything for yourself. That's not true. So we, you find a job, you settle down for a month, and then we uh, kindly ask you for the 85% of the first month salary, and you pay that one in installments to in four months. So those are the information. And uh, if you can go to the next slide, please. So I just want to make sure because I saw some couple of questions about the tuition there. Uh, and then in the next slide, uh, yeah, if you and if you. Uh, yeah, here, if you create, if you have groups, right, if you are a group of students, so if you are two or three students in a group, meaning that you're friends together, you want to do the boot camp together, we are doing an extra discount because we want to make sure, right, we want to, to make sure that you are friends together, you are, you are, uh, let's say, helping each other, motivating each other. If one of you falls down, the other one will help your friends. So we all definitely want you to, to be together with your friends. And this price is in dollars, US dollars for United States, and is in Canada dollars for Canada. So the same price for, right, the same price for United States and the same price for Canada. And the, uh, right, am I right? Uh, am I correct, Ahmed? Yes, exactly. Same price for the Canadian dollar. Yeah. So for Canada, is in Canadian dollar. Yeah. So, uh, yes, definitely, Roberto, if, if you get a, a job of, uh, $120, $120K per year, which is $10,000 per month. We asked $8,500 for you. And the higher your salary, the higher our share. That's why we want you to get a, a better job. That's why we push you and we help you to find a better job because the higher uh, salary will be yours, the higher will be our also our benefit. That's why we share, as, as Eric mentioned, we share our risk with you to make sure that we are right uh, helping each other. Uh, so I have a question asking about uh, can I finish this boot camp in in uh, faster than in faster than uh, six months? No, this boot camp is scheduled in six months. If any of you has the experience and if every, any of you is ready, then you can talk to us and then we can uh, we can help you only with uh, uh, helping you right with finding job at the end. So that part. So definitely talk to us and then we can uh, we can consider it. So. But the bootcamp will go to a specific schedule. We don't, you cannot go ahead of our, of our schedule. Okay. So if you enrolled for April, right? Uh, if you if you're not enrolled for April, next one will start. We were planning the next one to be uh starting in September. So that is our next uh boot camp. Uh that's an, a question. So, yes, definitely, guys, you have to schedule a call. So another question is about the contract. Will there be a contract? Of course, definitely. So make sure that you schedule a call, ask all your questions, you clarify everything. And then after the price is final, right, we send you a contract. But as Eric mentioned, nobody, right, nobody will be paying until April 21st. So if you can go to the next slide, Eric, because that's, that slide is very, very important if you can click one by one. So, yes. So you make a contract, but you don't have to pay any deposit, zero deposit. There is no application fee, zero dollars. So, and you don't pay anything until the bootcamp starts. So when the bootcamp starts on April 21st, we, right, we get your first payment. And of course, the, the last point, which is the most important one, we have the 30 day money back guarantee. So if during the 30 days you try it, you don't like it, it's difficult for you or whatever problem you have, if you want to quit, we also refund you the first payment was done on, on, on April 21st. If you are happy with it, if you want to continue, we definitely we ask this one in the classes and we make sure with everybody is happy and then we continue right after May 21st with the second payment. 
So why do we do this one? We do this one because we want you to try for yourself to see if this one is doable or not, and then to make sure that and to make sure that you you, you are doing uh, uh, the right choice. So if any of you wants to quit, of course we have had a couple of cases when students quit. But the good thing is that even those students that don't want to do it because it's difficult for them or they have a problem or something, they refer to somebody else because they really like us. They they are like everything, but probably it's not good for them. But they will definitely suggest to their friends or to their family. That's why we do these things, guys. Let us get our other questions. If you have any other questions there, Ahmed. Of course. Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, there was a question. If we need to stay, like, do we need to wait for six months or can we just finish the program sooner than that? Uh, you need to wait for the six months. So there's no way to finish it sooner because, again, this program is an intensive program already, but at the same time, you will be having a group projects where you have a hands-on experience with the real applications. And in order to be, you know, in order to participate that, you have to be in the timely manner with the rest of your friends. So that's why it's not really uh, possible. Let me check my questions. I have, I have another first good question from Okan. Uh, the, the question is how many instructors and teachers do you have during the six months? Of course, we have multiple instructors teaching Java classes, Selenium, uh, but also we have mentors. So every group of students will have their mentors, which are experienced testers. And also we have assistants. So during the class, a teacher is teaching the class, but there are a couple of assistants there which are helping with technical problems if there is any problem during the class. So we have a team of uh, 30 people in total, uh, like uh, six, seven teachers and uh, 10, 12 mentors and uh, six, six TAs, right? Teacher assistants. But of course, if we're going to need more, definitely we're going to plan. That's why we're making sure that uh, depending on the numbers, we can also hire even more teachers and, and mentors and, and uh, assistants if, if needed. So the class schedule, if you can go back to this class schedule, please. Eric, and I'm sorry to... So I think it's back. And then one of the slides is about the schedule. This one. Yes. So this is the schedule, guys. Uh, the classes are recommended for you to watch them live because there will be assistants there helping you. But even if you cannot join the classes live, uh, even though it's recommended, you can watch them later and you can ask questions and our assistants will be ha happy to help you even during the uh, outside of the classes. OK, so that is that is. Uh... I saw a question regarding the job finding process. So the question is, how is the job finding process? Are the interviews online in person? Is there a pool that we upload our resume with the company, see it and send an offer and everything? So the job finding process is mostly happening remotely. Obviously, some companies can opt in to have a face to like in-person interviews. Uh, regardless, we, we, we are going to be preparing you for all of that. We will have an extensive uh, database on interview questions on like uh, every topic. And on top of that, we also have some like, you know, tricks in, in our books about our, about the questions that uh what which companies are asking so like the, those major companies we're already aware of what type of questions they're asking so we'll be able to share you that and that way we will ease that process for you to be hired so the, this is one of the tips and tricks of the, the part of the market knowledge tips and tricks, yeah yeah so another question was about uh if i pay the tuition fee uh on time do i need to pay the 85 percent of course those are two fees right two separate fees so one is during the bootcamp is the 4,900. And of course, there are a lot of discounts there, but the tuition fee, which is during the seven months during the bootcamp. And then after that, you look for a job. We help you with that process. And also we ask you for the 85% uh, of first month after, after you find the job. And that's paid only when you find the job. If you don't find the job, of course, definitely. And if you take it seriously, we don't have, I don't think we should have that case, but uh, you don't have to pay that price. Yes, we said, of course, they're going to be a contract. And then uh, what are the questions? I am experienced. Can I still join the bootcamp? Definitely, it will be easy for you. Maybe you can lose your motivation. But of course, if you have experience and if you know everything and if you're ready, of course, we can also help you, right, with, uh, with uh, as we said, because the placement part is also uh, 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 the part of the bootcamp, which will, will help you. So how do the installments work? Uh, is it... Uh, 
connected. So maybe maybe Ahmed can talk I about can, connect yeah, to I can bank or... on the installments. So what will happen on April 21st, which is the first day of our uh, new cohort, you will be uh, asked to fill out a connection to Stripe. And with the help of Stripe, automatically every uh, 21st of every month for seven months, you will be paying the installments for our tuition, for your tuition fee. So that's how it's going to work. And we will just utilize third party tools, uh, but they're already like uh, really high security and like uh, then they're, they will be stored in a, you know, uh, really uh, important manner. So that's how it goes. Uh, but they need to know that there are no interests. So it's interest free and it's no extra charges. Exactly. There will be no extra tax or there will be no like uh, any other charges. Um, so that's that's how it's going to be. More For more information, please feel free to reach us out. Uh, you know, one of our admission specialists is more than uh, will be happy to answer your questions about that. Yes, Luis. And uh, he is asking about the class are live and can I watch them later? We explained this one. Definitely the class are live. You can watch them during class, but of course those are recorded and they will be shared with you and you can watch them even later. And again, the same thing, the same thing with this, the same thing with this infestation. It will be shared with you guys. An email will be sent to you, and you can definitely rewatch this info session, and you can also you can also uh, share it with your friends. So I think we're caught up with the questions. Uh, if you have any more questions, guys, definitely go to the to our website, schedule a call, and uh, and then even ask more questions there if you have any. Yes. So thank you very much for joining. Uh, we don't have any any other things. So these are the information that we have. Uh, thank you for joining. Have a good night from us.